Welcome to today's review video. My name is Colton. Today we're going to be talking about the tools and products that I use in the How to Mount Your TV project. If this is your first time here checking out this channel, we'd ask that you would subscribe. These review videos and the project videos that we do help you understand the steps and products that we use in helping you turn your house into a home. You can also check out our project videos that we've done. That link will be right up here as well. Today I'll be going specifically over the mount that I use and the tools that it requires in order to mount that to your wall. So let's get started. Now at Doug's man cave, he was student body president for two years at Utah State University. So he has all of the Utah State memorabilia and also a Panthers and Seahawks helmet signed by players down at the bottom along with a 70 inch TV. This video sec you mount, I can no longer actually find it on Newegg. I know I do have a link down below, but on Amazon it is available for $22.99. This is a great price for a very highly rated product and it tilts up and down. So there's no swivels if you want something like that. This isn't a product that I would suggest you buy, but if you want an easy tilt, it's easy to install. Before you buy any sort of TV mount, you need to determine the visa measurement for your TV. Now there's a lot of different combinations, so you need to make sure that you're measuring or know the exact measurement of your specific TV. I would suggest either looking at the model number of the TV, Googling it, searching it online, or if you have the manual, you can also look for the measurements there. You can also just measure it out. I would measure the width and then the height, and then you need to take that measurement, if you're doing so in inches, and make sure you convert to millimeters. But you also need to be 100% sure that the bolt holes that you're measuring from are the actual bolt holes that uh, will hold the weight of the TV to mount. So this mount actually comes in a pretty small box. It only weighs 6.3 pounds, but it can support a TV size from 23 to 75 inches. So you have a lot of growth if you do want to increase or upgrade your TV. So in this package, you get the wall mount, the bolts, a HDMI cable that's 10 feet long, a level, and everything you need to secure the pieces of metal to your TV in order to hook it onto the wall. Now there's nothing special about the HDMI cord, but it is 10 feet long, so you don't need to go buy another one when you do want to hide those cables. The level is pretty simple as well. The pieces of the mount that actually goes to your TV, they look a lot shorter, and there is a left and right side. When you look at the back of the TV, the right is right, left is left. There's also these little extender pieces that will go on those to make sure that you're fitting the actual size that you need. There's also supplied a wide variety of bolts to fit any sort of bolt hole on the back of your TV. Also keep in mind this is a very durable, sturdy, strong steel frame, so it's gonna hold up to 165 pounds. This frame is shallow, so it's not gonna make your TV stick far away from the wall, and it fits anywhere from 16 to 24 inches for the studs. You can see it's a skeleton frame, so it enables that to be attached to any outlet that you need to install or already have installed, and it has a 15 degree tilt up or down. So this is an awesome product. I'm not gonna do a lot of left and right swiveling with my TV, it's just gonna be the up and down. If you're in the market for TV mount, buy this one. Once you have the brackets installed on the back of your TV and that wall mount attached securely to the studs and not just sheetrock, you need to secure it to the studs, it's a very simple hook on, tighten the bolts, you can adjust it left and right so it can slide and an easy tilt. This is the easiest installation ever. All of the tools that I use for this project, you can find links down below in the description, but really easily, stud finder, a level, a drill, measuring tape, screwdriver, pencil, socket, um, and anything that you need to fasten those bolts or tighten down any screws. Thanks for checking out today's review video. If you have any questions or comments, please do so down below. And also be sure to check out the description down below because I will post links of the products specifically that I use in the how to mount your TV to a wall project. If you wanna see more review videos just like this one, go ahead and click on this link right here. And also be sure to click on this link right here so you don't miss future review videos and also future projects that we have in the pipeline. Hopefully you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and you're prepping for the holiday season. I wanna thank you for checking out this video and we'll catch you next time.